Peter Gutwin hopes his COVID response is strong enough to see the Liberals elected for a third term. It remains to be seen whether his early election gamble pays off. The Liberal leader cast his vote alongside his wife in Launceston this morning. He maintains he will lead only if the party wins a majority. We've worked hard over the last 12 to 15 months to make Tasmania safe, to ensure that we could rebuild our economy. Uh, Tasmanians are now back in work. People are positive. There is confidence in our community. Uh, the risk is that we go back into minority government. In the dying hours of the campaign, the Premier is facing more questions about Liberal candidate for Braddon, Adam Brooks. Victorian authorities are considering whether to investigate a fake licence allegedly used by Mr Brooks to trick a woman whom he'd been speaking to on an online dating app. In speaking with Mr Brooks yesterday, he has once again uh, denied these allegations and the people of Braddon today will have their opportunity to have their say on Mr Brooks. Mr Brooks has been in the political wilderness since he was forced to resign in 2019 over conflict of interest issues. His comeback is likely to be successful in the polls. In the nearby electorate of Bass, Peter Gutwin currently holds one seat. The added profile of the Premier could help the Liberal Party win four seats there. Labor currently holds two, but that's under threat from the Greens, who are confident of stealing a seat. There is no doubt that the Labor Party are in a great position under Rebecca White's leadership. We have had people come back to the party, new people into the party. I'm having such great feedback and confidence. The temptation for Peter Gutwin to call an election 12 months early was strengthened by the success of incumbent premiers at recent elections across the country. But issues, particularly health, are telling against the government. I think um, health care and housing is the two most important things, as well as environmental concerns. General economy? Health has to be a consideration. It's health and um, a little bit of environment and um, definitely the way that COVID's been handled. Tasmania's Hare Clark voting system means today's election is hard to predict. There are 25 seats up for grabs, the Liberals hoping to hold on to their 13.